All right, so there's Robin on Connie, ready for one more ride. We are leaving McMillan RV Park, headed out for the wildlife loop. Welcome to Ride with GNR as we make our way around the wildlife loop just outside of Fort Davis, Texas. This particular route offers some really fantastic open roads and long sweeping curves to ride your motorcycle through and there's some beautiful scenery to be had out in the deserts of West Texas. A quick word of caution, be very careful as you will see in this video, there can be livestock on the side of the road just waiting for you to come along. This vacation we took to Fort Davis was the largest amount of time spent on the motorcycle that I've ever done. We'd go for a ride in the morning, then come back for lunch, and I'd take a little power nap. Then back on the bike for an afternoon ride. I was actually pretty impressed with myself. Of course, all that riding caused swelling under my kneecaps for the next year, but oh well. It was worth it. We had a really great time, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. That was our nine-year anniversary trip we took. This way. That's better. All right. <laughs> All right. So we just stopped for a hysterical marker. So let's go check it out. On the first part of the journey, I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rain. The first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name, cause the rain Desert, 
you can remember your name Cause there ain't no one more to give you no pain A word of caution. On these long, straight stretches of road, it can be very tempting to crack the throttle open and put the hammer down, so to speak. However, while that can be all good and fun and fine and dandy, one needs to be aware that at the end of those long, straight stretches of road can come little hills with curves right after them. And those can really take you by surprise if you do not bring your speed down to a manageable limit. to say that that is the newest observatory over on the left while if we look over here you've got the oldest one dead center on top obviously and then you've got a newer one moved over That's incredible. Beautiful. So we'll get a picture of Connie looking up. I think that's as close as we're getting, baby. Let me get off and I'll help you. Man, what a gorgeous view. So my <laughs> extreme close up. <laughs> so we made it to up to the observatories and this is the view. Go ahead, baby. Check it out. There's a big building. All right. So we are at the McDonald Observatory. And we are celebrating Connie's anniversary. We picked her up almost nine years ago in a couple days. And we will be nine years together next month. One more month. One more month. Cool. Yep. So now Connie is out of this world. Yes. Yes. Of course, we always knew our Concor 14 was out of this world, but now it's just a little one step closer. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Well, it was a great ride up here. We had a great time. So we are going to roll back into Fort Davis, grab some cookies so we can go home, dunk them in milk, Ooh. and uh, have a little lunch. Yep. But it's so far, today was a beautiful day. Um, as you can see, it's just it's gorgeous out here. Pretty just, awesome. Just gorgeous. Incredible view. All right. Well, that's that. Let's, Let's roll, baby. Let's go.